Today I'm going to talk about buffer bloat. Buffer bloat is an issue that pretty much everyone deals with. It can happen anywhere a fast network link meets a slow network link. An example of this is that the inside, your inside network is faster than your connection to the internet. TCP is what we use for a lot of things, mostly upload and download. It will try to send as much information it can. It does not know the maximum it can, but it will still try to send as much as it can. When it sends too much, packets are dropped which tell it to scale itself down. Buffering is meant to keep packets from being dropped between a fast network connection and a slow network connection. Right now we have faster internet speeds than we've had years ago. So we need more buffering to be able to manage that because we have, you know, more traffic. The issue is that buffering adds latency. Traffic has to go through those buffers and if the buffers are too large, which most of the time they are, it creates a lot of latency. There are software called AQMs. They try to reduce buffer bloat. So here's an example of a typical buffer. You have upload speed and you have download speed. And what happens is as they go to about the max they can do, you get latency. And this is a lot of latency right here, 1000 milliseconds. These are different AQMs that try to deal with that. Coddle what it does is it measures how long it takes information from going into the buffer to going out of the buffer. If it sees that it takes too long, it'll drop a packet so then TCP scales itself back. SFQ, what it tries to do is sort, um, sort connections based on what they are. So is it a very large connection? Is it a smaller connection? And when you merge these two together, you get something nice called FQ coddle. So what it does is it does both of these. It sorts traffic based on what it is, but it will only drop a packet from something that it deems problematic. So if you had, let's say, a Skype call and a download, it will probably drop a packet from the download so the Skype call isn't interrupted. Uh, this is my router. It's an IP Fire router. It keeps, this is my connection between my router and my gateway. As you can see, it's very low latency. Right here are just like little outages I have, but it doesn't really matter too much. And IP Fire has FQ condo built in. So it's constantly trying to optimize my connection. So if I go here, there's actually this issue. If I turn off quality of service, and then I start the ping Google. Pretty much this is saying how long it takes the information to go out from my network to Google. So if I do this and make it so it's constant, as you can see I get about 29, you know, very stable. So when I do a speed test, which will saturate my connection, you know, so give it a second, you're going to notice that my ping just skyrockets within a second. There you go and just going to keep going up, up and up and up. And the reason for this, and I'm going to, um, let's see, I'll just go over here. The reason for this is because my modem doesn't have AQMs in it. So what happens is that it, even though my router is optimizing my connection, my modem is still trying to buffer it. My router doesn't know how much information it can send out. So it's going to try to send as much as it can. And because of that, the modem has to buffer it, and because the modem doesn't have the AQM in it, it's not going to do it. Right. The solution to this is to take a speed test. So hopefully this is done. I get about 60. Um, 60 download, 60 upload. What I do is I take those numbers into calculator. So let's say 60 times 1,000, so you get kilobits. Then you multiply that number by about 97%. And then you put that as your download speed, and then you do the upload speed, I'll just say it's 12. It kind of depends um, on your situation. Sometimes, you know, you can have a higher upload, but it's a good idea to kind of lessen the download. Now watch what happens when I turn that back on. Okay, give it a second. Okay, it's good. And now I'm going to ping Google again. As you can see, low latency. And I start it again, and I'll just go back to that tab. Barely going up. 
only about 10 milliseconds and he even tries to go back all the way down to you know about 30 something like that so pretty much what that does is it puts a limit on how much information my router can send it's not going to send more information than what my modem has to do and because the networks are about the same speed it's not going to have to buffer it as much and because the only fast to slow network that I have is between my inside network and my router and the router has AQM built in so it can already manage all that latency so the solution to having low latency is to have a router that has AQM in it. You could get an IP Fire firewall, just take an old computer, put a second networking card, and then you know you have that. Or you could get a commercial router that has it, but not many have it. I heard Ubiquiti has it, so you could look into that if you wanted. Yep. 